My name is Laura Oliveri. I'm a cardiologist and researcher at Children's National. Within cardiology, I specialize in non-invasive cardiac imaging. We developed an app called 3D Cardiac Review. It's an application that we use in our 3D cardiac printing and modeling lab. It's an app mostly used for research, and what we're trying to do is um, push the boundaries of how uh, hearts that contain heart defects are displayed. Here is our application in use. The three-dimensional model can be zoomed in, zoomed out. We can look inside the model or view the exterior surface. This particular model features a heart defect called an atrial septal defect, which is a hole in the wall between the top two chambers of the heart. We can add labels to any important parts of the 3D model, and the labels will stay put no matter the vantage point. The model can also be enhanced by displaying it on a background of the medical images from which it was derived. In this case, this model of an atrial septal defect was created using a cardiac computed tomography uh, imaging as a roadmap. So here we've loaded up the actual medical images as a background for the 3D model. This helps researchers and clinicians alike understand the defect in great detail. We have options where we can display the medical images, we can display the 3D model, we can display them both at the same time with varying degrees of transparency. The goal of creating this application was to have a way that my technical colleague and I could easily collaborate whether we were up on the sixth floor in the lab or down on the third floor in the clinical space. In the in initial phases of our development, uh, we relied a lot on printing out 3D models such as this. Uh, we realized that the most efficient and most cost-effective way uh, was to actually develop an app. So instead of spending several um, hours or actually half a day getting this printed out, we'd be able to import the 3D models onto a tablet and bring the tablets to our fellow colleagues to show them the specific congenital heart disease. Our next step is trying to figure out how display of a patient's specific heart on the tablet can kind of pull them into their care and make them feel empowered in their fight against congenital heart disease. There's a tremendous push in medicine right now to make um, visualization of complex and subtle defects easier and we really think this application is helping us here at Children's National to do this.